Dinka mythology refers to the traditional religion and folk tales of the Dinka, or Mawonijang, ethnic group of South Sudan. Creation the supreme, creator god, Nialik, is the god of the sky and rain, and the ruler of all the spirits. He is believed to be present in all of creation, and to control the destiny of every human, plant and animal on earth. Nialik is also known as Yak, Juang or Diokan by other Nilotic groups such as the Nuer and Shilak. Nialik created ex Nihilo and rarely involves itself with the affairs of humans. There are several versions of the Dinka creation myth which mainly concerns itself with the creations of humans. The first humans are Garong and Abuk. In some cases, Nialik created humans by blowing them out of its nose. Other accounts say humans originated from the sky and were placed in the river where they came as fully formed adults. Other accounts say that humans were molded as clay figures and placed to mature in pots. Garong and Abuk were made out of the clay of Sudan. Nialik told them to multiply and that their children would die but would come back to life within 15 days. Garong protested that if nobody dies permanently then there won't be enough food. Nialik then introduced permanent death. Nialik commanded them to only plant one seed of grain a day or gave them one grain to eat a day. Being hungry every day Abuk made a paste with the grain to make it last more. However when Abuk disobeyed and planted more Nialik cut the rope that connected heaven and earth. Pantheon Topic. The Dinka have a pantheon of deities. Dengtit or Deng, is the sky god of rain and fertility, empowered by Nialik. Deng's mother is Abuk, the patron goddess of gardening and all women, represented by a snake. Garong, another deity, is believed or assumed by some Dinka to be a god suppressed by Deng whose spirits can cause most Dinka women, and some men, to scream. The term, J-O-K, refers to a group of ancestral spirits. Topic. Invocation of prayer Topic. The Dinka address their prayers first to the Supreme Being Nialik then invoke other deities. The Dinka offer prayers for receiving mild weather. They also pray for good harvest, protection of people and cattle recovery form illness and good hunting. Sacrifices of a bull or ox are offered to Nialik. The Dinka perform sacrifices along with prayers. The invokes all clan divinities, free divinities and ancestral spirits and at times Nialik. Those who are saying the prayers hold a fishing spear in their hands. Short phrases expressing the need are chanted while the spear is thrusted at the animal to be sacrificed. The participants repeat the words of the leader. At times of crisis or an important occasion the Dinka will continue to pray and sacrifice for long periods of time. Stages of sacrificial prayer point one, the leader describes the issue the people are facing. 2. The leader and all present acknowledge past sins. 3. Praise is offered singing hymns of honor or ox songs. 4. Expulsion of the misfortune to the sacrificial animal. Topic. Animism Topic. The Dinka are also animists. Dinka inherit a totem from both their parents. The faithful are expected to make offerings to their totem force and maintain positive relations with members. Eating or hurting your totem animal is a bad omen for those who share a totem. Some totems are believed to endow powers. The owl totem, for example, is believed to give the power of providence. Totems are not exclusively animals, although most are. Some Dinka are related ores and elements. In the Dinka language, a totem is known as a kuur. Dinka do not worship their totems but rather speak of being related to them. The case of a snake relationship is described below. Topic snakes topic Some Dinka people respect African puff adders. The most commonly respected snakes are Atemyath, Beer Karor, and Malwang. These snakes are given local made molten cheese to appease them, after which they are released into the forest. Killing these snakes is believed to be a bad omen for the community or the individual, with the assumption that spirits may strike the killer. 
Topic references topic topic bibliography topic in English Leinhart, Godfrey, Divinity and Experience: The Religion of the Dinka, Oxford University Press, 1988, ISBN 0198234058-1. Retrieved the 9th of June 2012 in English. Evans, TMS, Anthropology as Ethics, Nondualism and the Conduct of Sacrifice, Bergen Books, 2009, ISBN 1845456 6297 2 in English Seligman CG 1932 Pagan Tribes of the Nilotic Sudan London G Routledge and Sons archived from the original on the 29th of April 2010 Topic external links Topic Leinhart Godfrey 1987 Divinity and Experience The Religion of the Dinka Oxford University Press ISBN 0-19-823405-8 Library of Congress, Country Studies, Sudan in English Evans, TMS. Anthropology as Ethics, Nondualism and the Conduct of Sacrifice. Bergen Books 2009, ISBN 1845456297-3